theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful... You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time.
like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some too. Do what I said, and the collar won't go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the villa are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk more. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some try to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward, they were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Too many, many. This place is dangerous, and its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. 
The process is automated and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever returned. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive. As surely as the caller will. It is a hollow rifle. A weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland, and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die, so be careful where you step. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. They fill the villa, more in the casino, much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely.